It was a slap that reverberated around the world, viewed online more than 50 million times. While confronting her boss about underpayment, a 20-year-old Chinese exchange student known as Lin was assaulted, later telling ABC News of her ongoing trauma. My first reaction was, it was unbelievable. Her assailant, customer Lei Gavin Guo, walked from court last month with an assault conviction and a good behaviour bond. Now it's Lin's former employer that finds itself in court. The Fair Work Ombudsman has commenced legal action against the operator of the three fun tea, bubble tea outlets in the Adelaide CBD. The Ombudsman alleges Yushuan Group underpaid 20 employees more than $168,000 over a nine-month period. It claims exchange students and other young workers were paid as little as $10 an hour, echoing Lynn's allegation at the time of the assault. And we allege she was underpaid $672 over a two-week period in January this year. Uh, we understand that money has now been paid back in full. Advocates have welcomed the action but say more work needs to be done. We cannot just only focus on this single shop. There's still hundreds and thousands of workers are being treated very badly in South Australia. The shocking video sparked an audit of more than 60 Chinatown businesses, with the Ombudsman saying it found widespread underpayment and exploitation of foreign workers. It expects to announce those findings and whether any other businesses will face legal action soon. Until then... Businesses are on notice to check compliance with workplace laws or we may turn up on their doorstep. A warning that wage theft won't be tolerated. Sarah Tomevska, ABC News, Adelaide.